Hello guys, how are you today? Today we are going to work in the Smarty Book. So please open your Smarty Book on page number 50. Open your Smarty Book on page number 50, please. Okay guys, what are we going to do? Look and, and look at the pictures and listen to me, please. Look at the pictures and answer. Do you know these objects? Can it, what can you use them for? Okay, we have four, four objects, right? Look, look, they are Australian objects. Okay, we're going to read them right now and then we're going to match, to match the text to the pictures. Okay, just listen to me. The boomerang, the boomerang. The boomerang is a curved piece of wood that Aboriginal Australians used to hunt small animals. If it didn't hit anything, it had returned to the thrower. Aboriginals also used the boomerang to play games. The games helped Aboriginal boys to learn and practice the skills they needed to hunt. The boomerang, it's too easy. You know the boomerang, okay? The boomerang. This is the boomerang, okay? I'm going to change my color. I'm going to take the blue color, okay? The didgeridoo, the didgeridoo, okay? The didgeridoo is a wind instrument made of wood. It is like a long trumpet. Aboriginal peoples use it to play songs at ceremonial dances. One more time. The didgeridoo is a wind instrument made of wood. It is like a long trumpet. Aboriginal peoples use it to play songs at ceremonial dances. Yes, a didgeridoo. Didgeridoo, this is the didgeridoo, right? This is the didgeridoo. The next one, the bark canoe. The bark canoe, la canoa hecha de corteza. People use the bark canoe for traveling from one place to another and for fishing in the ocean and rivers. A canoe, the bark canoe. So I'm going to change, I didn't change, I didn't change the color. I'm going to take the green color, okay? And this is the bark, the bark canoe. This is the bark canoe, okay? The last one, the clap sticks, the clap sticks, okay? Clap sticks are made of wood and they are painted with bright colors. Aboriginal peoples play them with the didgeridoo to beat out the rhythm for the dancers, okay? So this is the clap sticks. These are the clap sticks. I'm sorry, these are the clap sticks. These are the clap sticks. These are the clap sticks, okay? Let's go to the next page, please. What are we going to do here? Something missing? No, that's okay. Um, page number 51, okay? Page 51 and page, on page 51, read more about boomerangs. Boomerangs are still popular today. Many people all over the world play with them. Boomerangs can have two or more wings. Some are still made of wood, but there are also plastic and paper boomerangs. What about to make a boomerang? What do you think about it? I'm going to, uh, we're going to read about uh, how to make a boomerang, but we are not going to make this boomerang in class, okay? If you want, and if you decide, you're going to make this boomerang at home. We're just going to read the instructions to do it. I'm going to talk to you in Spanish. Vamos a ver un instructivo. Lo que es el instructivo, las partes de un instructivo. Es decir, seguir instrucciones e indicaciones para hacer algo, para crear algo. ¿sí? Ese es el fin del instructivo. Pasos a seguir. Pasos de manera ordenada. ¿Sí? ¿Qué pasa con esto? Es solamente para 
eh, informarte, que tú te enteres lo que es un instructivo y cómo realizar esta actividad. Es tu decisión si realizas el boomerang o no para jugar en casa. ¿Qué? Si tú decides hacer el boomerang en casa, ¿sí? tú ya vas a saber los pasos a seguir, porque los veremos aquí. Si tú decides hacer el boomerang en casa, mándame foto también junto con todas las evidencias de esta semana número 9. ¿Ok? Quedamos en eso. No es obligatorio ni comprar material, ni es obligatorio mandarme el boomerang. Si tú deseas hacer el boomerang en casa para jugar, ¿sí? Lo puedes hacer, pero no es obligatorio enviarme el boomerang. Que, quiero que quede claro porque papi y mami no quiero que gasten ni quiero que estén saliendo a la papelería a comprar absolutamente nada, ¿sí? Solo mira las indicaciones, observa el instructivo, observa el material que se necesita. Si tú tienes material en casa y quieres hacer el boomerang, adelante, pero no es obligatorio. ¿Ok? Let's continue with this. Read these instructions to, on how to make a boomerang and match them with the pictures. ¿Ok? Match them with the pictures. We already have the instructions in here. Just match the pictures. We're going to match the pictures to, to the sentences, okay? What do we need for the boomerang? You need a piece of yellow cardboard, a pencil, colored pencils, and scissors, okay? I think this is picture number, no, number, letter C, right? Picture letter C. Let me change the color of this of this letter. Let me do it. Let me do this. Okay. Just give me a minute because I'm going to change the color of this. Okay. Let me take this and okay. It's too big. Maybe like that. Okay, letter C. Let me, okay, so much better. Okay, copy number two. Copy the model, the model your teacher draws on the board. We are not on the board. <laughs> so this is the letter P, copy, copy the model, okay? Letter B, okay? Number three. Cut out the cardboard model carefully. Cut out, cut out the cardboard model carefully. Letter A. Picture A. Okay. Number four. Fold the edges down along the lines. Look, you have lines here. Okay, you have to fold, doblar, fold down, doblar hacia abajo, fold down. You have to fold down the edges, okay? So this is the letter E, okay? Number five, now decorate your boomerang. Now decorate your boomerang, letter F. And finally, play with it. Play with it, play with it, play with it, it's letter T, okay? You have the instructions in here, it's time to play, it's time to create, and it's time to make a different thing at home, okay? Espero que con esto pases un rato agradable en casa, sí, para que puedas distraerte y aprender a hacer un boomerang, okay? Not in class, no en clase, at home. Not an obligation, okay? No es obligación, es tu decisión, okay? Just let's go to, um, to the next page, page 52. Writing a biography, we are going to write a biography, okay? Read the fact file about tennis player Yvonne Gulagong Collie and answer the questions in your folder. Okay, not in your folder, we're going to answer the questions here. Okay, not in the folder, not in the note. Yvonne 
Kulagong Koli. Early life, born well, Varela, well, in Australia, 1951, family Aboriginal parents, seven brothers and sister, early sports, swimming, tennis. Beginning to play, cuando comenzó a jugar, beginning to play, first lessons, nine years old, Varela, 14 years old, Sydney. Professional life, early championship success, 1971, Wimbledon and French Open. Personal life, married tennis player Roger Coley in 1975. Two children lives in Australia, okay? We're going to answer two questions, just two questions, okay? When was Yvonne born? When she was born? When she was born, she born, when she born, we're going to write, okay? She was born, she was born in 1951. She was born in 1951. When did she win Wimbledon? When, champion, ow. Oh. She went, no, she won. She won. She won uh, Wimbledon in 1975, right? 1975, okay, just give me a minute. In 1975, okay? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm using the correct, it's one, I'm sorry. It, I'm sorry, guys. It's one, okay? One, okay? She won Wimbledon in 1975. Okay, I'm sorry, guys, for that mistake. I'm sorry. Now, read and compare the previous fact file with Yvonne's biography, comment with a classmate, okay? What are we going to do here? We are going to read this at home in, at cl in class and we are going to underline the verbs in past tense, okay? For example, let me change this. Yvonne Gulagong was born in 1951 in Valenon, Australia. Her family was Aboriginal. She lived, okay, and she was born uh, her family was with her parents and her seven brothers and sister. When she was very young, Yvonne liked swimming and playing tennis. Yvonne didn't have, didn't have real tennis lessons until she was nine years old. When she was 14, she moved to Sydney to concentrate on playing tennis. When she was only 20, she won the French Open and Wimbledon. She married Roger Coley, another tennis player in 1975. They have two children and live in Australia, okay, married, okay? All of these verbs are in past tense because this thing are written past tense, okay? It's your turn to try to write a short biography of a person you, you want, okay? Of, it could be a singer, a, a, a um, painter, a famous people, famous person, okay? It could be an artist, I don't know, actress, actor, uh, writer. Okay, I'm going to talk to you in Spanish. Es tu turno de hacer una biografía muy pequeña, muy pequeña. Solo escríbeme algo parecido a esto, dónde nació, cuándo nació eh, y por qué se hizo famoso. Tú ya lo hiciste previamente con los pintores, ¿sí? Los pintores que vimos en la, en la unidad anterior. Ya hiciste una mini biografía. Regrésate, puedes verlo 
y puedes escribir una pequeña en tu cuaderno. De hecho, hiciste una en las actividades extra de la unidad número uh, de la unidad anterior, la número 3, hiciste una acerca de, no recuerdo quién el personaje, pero ya vimos una en, en las actividades extra. Si tú quieres hacer una y escribir una acerca de tu personaje favorito, lo puedes hacer. Puede ser un pintor, actor, escritor, un, deport, un deportista, eh, una persona famosa, ¿sí? Eh, tú eliges a la persona y puedes escribir una mini biografía en tu cuaderno si así lo deseas, ¿ok? Now, chicos, esta actividad de la página 52 pertenece a la clase número 2. La clase número 2 también veremos este, otra hoja de trabajo. Esta hoja de trabajo, you have this worksheet number 2 in the school platform, so please print this worksheet and bring it to the virtual class, ¿ok? Tienes que traer esta hoja para la clase virtual, la clase número dos, porque vamos a contestar, ¿ok? So, let me, let me share the screen and let me share to you the worksheet, ¿ok? Again, you're going to write your name and the date, February 5th, 2021. Look at the grammar worksheet, ¿ok? Grammar, grammar, remember the... Green color is for affirmative form, okay? Affirmative form, okay? You can write, you can write here affirmative. You can write it on, okay? Affirmative. Solo para que observes, okay? Affirmative, okay? And this is a negative form, the red One is a negative form. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Just wait for me. Okay, let me get the red color. And this is the negative form. Negative form. And this is the question form. Okay, question form. Question. Okay, uh oh. But in blue color, right? Just give me a minute. Just give me a second. Don't worry about it. I'm going to choose the blue color and I'm going to write question, the question form. Just remember that. Just remember that. This is a question form. Recuerda la estructura. Es para que recuerdes la estructura. Afirmativo. Primero va el pronombre, verbo, el objeto. Sujeto, verbo, objeto. Después... En lo negativo va de nuevo el sujeto o pronombre, el auxiliar en negativo, el verbo en presente, el complemento o el objeto. ¿Qué? Para la pregunta, primero va el auxiliar tit, pronombre, verbo en presente. ¿Por qué en presente? Porque ya estás usando el tit que está en pasado y el complemento, tense. Okay. Las posibles respuestas para la pregunta es Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm going to change again the color of this because I'm going to use uh, this one. Okay. Yes, it's for affirmative. And no, I didn't. It's for negative form. Okay. This is for affirmative answer, yes, I did. Negative answer, no, I didn't. Now, fill in the blanks below to complete the sentences. Study the boxes above. Quiere decir que veas estas cajitas con toda la información de la estructura gramatical. Okay. For example, I waited 10 minutes for the bus. You have the verb in here. Tienes la forma base del verbo. Tú lo vas a cambiar a pasado. For example, he usually walks to work, but he not walk. He didn't. Okay? He didn't. Let me change this. He didn't walk. He didn't walk. Okay? He didn't walk. 
Okay? He didn't walk. The next one says, I was really surprised. 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 In past. Okay? Surprised. Just let me change this. Surprised. Okay? Surprised. When my friend cooked dinner. Cooked dinner. Cooked dinner. Okay? You're going to use your verbs. Your verbs guide again. You're going to use this. You can you can use this to answer your worksheet. Okay? Now, as can you see, I use the colors. This is affirmative, green for affirmative, red for negative, and I'm going to use the blue color for the question, okay? Uh, for example, let me change the color. I'm going to take this, We're going. I'm going to write, did you order, did you order, did you order your food? Did you order your food? Did you order your food? Me vas a preguntar, ¿por qué lo escribes, Miss, en presente el verbo? Porque recuerda que ya usé el auxiliar did, que está en pasado. Did you order your food? Cuando uso el auxiliar, el verbo no cambia. Mira, lo voy a escribir igual, en presente, porque esto está en pasado. Ya no lo voy a repetir, no voy a decir order, no voy a escribir order. ¿Por qué? Porque el did ya tiene el tiempo pasado. Did you order your food? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. ¿Ok? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Ya lo hicimos. Yes, we did. But this is in green color because it's affirmative. ¿Ok? Yes, we did. ¿Ok? Yes, we did. I hope you can, I hope you can answer this. Okay, it's your turn to do all of these sentences. If you don't remember how to write it, please check these boxes, check this information, the structure of the of the sentences, of the questions. Okay, check this out and you're going to answer this with no problem okay check this and try to and try to do this okay it's your turn to do it okay we're going to do this in class when you finish these activities don't forget to paste this worksheet in your notebook no olvides pegar esta hoja en tu cuaderno okay see you then in class have a nice day